bad habits. They can wreak havoc on our daily schedule as moms and as in your business as a mompreneur. In this video, I'm gonna give you three simple tips that you can use to overcome bad habits. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Michelle Shutter, founder of Mompreneur Enterprises, and in this video, I want to give you three simple tips that you can use to overcome your bad habits. The first tip I wanna give you is this. Pick one habit. Notice that that is not plural, it is singular. So many times we bite off more than we can chew. And think about it, we already have so much going on as a mom and running a business and all the responsibilities that you don't need to do more than one habit. Just pick one item that you want to focus on and do that one well. Forget the rest, you can come back to those once you've conquered or flipped or changed this habit. But don't think about all of them, it's too overwhelming. Just pick that one that you wanna focus on. So the second tip that I have for you is you want to hold yourself accountable. So let's add that. Hold yourself accountable. Now this isn't an easy task because it's very easy for us to give in to that, sub, that conscious mind, this, oh, you can do it tomorrow, don't worry about it today. But I wanna give you just a real simple tool that you can go ahead and utilize and download. And I will put the link for this in either the description or comments so that you can get access to it. And this is just a simple tool that I've started to fill out to help with a goal. Now this is just an example. So the accountability tracking is for exercise. That's just one of those common goals that, or resolutions that people set at the beginning of the new year. So we're gonna use this one. And then we have an end goal and a start goal. Well, the problem with so many people is that they want to start with the end goal and that just sets you up to fail. Don't do that. Keep your end goal in mind. However, start with the start goal. Break it down. So the end goal on this is 30 to 60 minutes a day of exercise, five to six days per week. The start goal is 30 minutes of exercise a day, three days per week. So what I did is I just jotted the days in there, I wrote the dates, and I encourage you, as silly as it may seem or as childish as it may seem, Go ahead and put a smiley face or a star or glitter it or sticker it or bedazzle it, whatever you wanna do. But do this to motivate you and post this. That will assist you in keeping yourself accountable. And if you have other family members, they're going to see your progress as well. So when you get to that second week, go ahead again and maybe you wanna write some, uh, words, you know, some words in there. You rock, okay? Yeah, you're amazing. And this is just a great way after a few weeks or after a month to look at this and go, okay, what's the pattern here? Where am I not making my goal? Where am I, where am I making my goal? Where do I have to make some adjustments? Now, this will take me into tip number three. Tip number three is all about giving yourself some grace. So give yourself grace. Now this is super important because guess what? Nobody's perfect and that's okay. We get up every day and we want to try to do our best. It's not about perfection. So when you get to that week where, you know what, I slipped off. I only got two. Give yourself some grace, but don't make that a new habit. There's a difference there. One time, two times, okay. But if you're becoming habitual about it, then that's a problem. So make sure you give yourself some grace when it comes to forming a new habit or overcoming your bad habits. And I wanna give you one more bonus tip. And as a bonus today, I want to share with you something that is so very important to your success. So as a bonus, I 
want you to be selective with who you surround yourself with. This is super important because that tip alone will either keep you in those bad habits and they will not move you forward or that bonus tip can absolutely catapult you into overcoming these bad habits and creating a new track to run on, a new level of success for you. So be selective. Be selective with who you are sharing your, your goals and your accountability with and be selective as to who you're not. Not everybody deserves to share in your success. So with that, check below for that link so that you can go ahead and download and use this accountability tracking sheet. See you next time.